In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to use the Wave Editor to lengthen an audio track, specifically music audio, using the process called looping. I have on track number one in my project three separate video clips. And on the bottom half of one, I'm going to drag down an audio track. This is stock audio. I like the music. I think it fits the mood I want to set, so I'll play a few frames of it for you. Now, what I would like is to have this audio be longer. In fact, to cover the entire duration of this project. How can I do that? Well, let me show you how to do that using the Wave Editor and a looping process. I'm going to click on the audio, audio file and then click on Edit Audio and choose Wave Editor. Now, there are several things that I want to do. I notice at, before I'm done, I'm going to need to take out the first part since it's silent. But I want to find a place where this melody repeats itself because it's going to end differently. So let me play just a little segment of it and you can see what the challenge is. Now the end is fine, but I would like it to repeat more times before it gets to the end. So I have to find a place where it's going to recycle. So let me play the middle of this a little bit more. Okay, it looks like I need to break it probably at this beat here. And so what I'm going to do is magnify this. And then I'm going to move my playhead to the place where I want to make the change. We'll click the stop here. And I think it's going to be right about here, right short of this spike here. And I can zoom in even more if I want to. And I think that's going to be pretty good. So what I want to do actually is set a bookmark. I'll click on the red flag at the top. It says insert bookmark. And that's where we're going to break it. We're going to repeat this first segment multiple times. So now I'm going to go ahead and back out on my magnification and move back to the beginning and mark that section. And then I want to click on the copy icon at the top. And so we're going to copy this and paste it in several times. So I, all I need to do is click near the beginning. And then here's where I'm going to magnify. So I have make sure I have no gap. And I'll put it right up against the front. And then I'll click on the Paste button. And then I'm going to go back and repeat this process. Move to the front. Magnify it so I'm sure I get the very the best spot possible. Click on Paste again. And so I'll repeat that a couple of times. And now that I'm done with that, I'm going to move to the beginning of the project, magnify a little bit, and we'll cut out the section where there is no sound at all. And I'll use the scissors to remove it. Then when I'm happy with this, I'm going to go ahead and save it. But before I do, let me play it. And you can hear how it sounds with that segment repeated over and over to give me a total length of 1 minute 21 seconds instead of the original length. Okay, it worked out pretty good. Sometimes you have to experiment and do this several times to get the timing exactly right. You don't have to be down there to the hundredth of a second, but something where you cannot audibly tell that there's been an insertion of a segment repeated times. So I'm going to click the X to close it. It says, do I want to save it? 
I'll say yes. And go back in my project and now I see my music is more than long enough to fit my video. So wherever I'm traveling in this particular project, the music will fit. And also, to get to the end of it, we still have the ending. Okay. And so I might want to change the video or something else, or I could take out one segment of my longer audio. It saved that as a separate file, and I see it uh, up here in my media room. So it's actually saved it on my hard drive, so I could use it and edit it again, either in Audio Director or Wave Editor.